How's it going, everybody? Uh, doing a little bit of an update. A little bit of different style in the room, living room. Uh, last week's video I posted was actually, if you stayed and watched the ending credits, it's from from one of the older rods I kind of forgot about. Now, I think I viewed it, decided I didn't want to post it because I didn't do a whole lot, but... I went ahead and uh, decided to throw it up, keep the channel alive, go from there. Uh, and the following week before that, didn't do an update video, had uh, had some things happen, it was beyond my control. Haven't, haven't even really played with the bike for the last couple of weeks, that's why there's been no quick and dirty updates. Uh, I pretty much know the direction I'm going to go. Uh, just waiting to get the extra funds to to get the stuff. I'm just going to replace the battery. That way, there's no question. And I'm going to go ahead and replace the coil because everything I'm checking points that everything else should be okay. So I think that should cover all the bases. If not, then I'm back to the drawing board. Hopefully that's not the case. Uh, anyway, the reason for not a whole lot of activity. About three weeks ago? Yeah. About three weeks ago, almost to the day. Uh... Well, okay, let's, let's set the table a little bit better. I'm being scatterbrained. But uh, my parents, everyone knows, if you've been watching, my parents left the area. They had three dogs. They took one with them. They left one of my brother and one of me. I got the oldest, which was a Westie. A West Highland White Terrier. She was about 10, 11 years old, give or take. And uh, they get they had me take her because I guess I I have more of an I had more of an attachment to her and she had an attachment to me so plus they wanted to take a small dog because they were living in an R they was going to live in an RV once they got to Arizona for a little period of time. And I had Zoe for about three weeks and about, it was like a, a couple days before, like I said, it's been about three weeks to the day, but about, about a couple days before I noticed she really wasn't eating and she just didn't act right. And I just thought that she was just being super picky. So, finally, on a Thursday, it got to the point of where she just laid around, she was real gassy, and she wasn't drinking water. She was shivering. So I spent most of that day just calling vets, veterinarians. No one could see her till Friday. And finally, I begged and pleaded and ended up paying for the emergency cost to take her and uh, got her in, got there, took her took her back, did examination, her temperature was low, they ran blood work and came back about half an hour or so after they did it and and said she was in total kidney failure. So, at that point, I told him, I was, you know, anything you do, I got to verify with my parents because, you know, she's, she's more my parents' dog than she is mine. I've only had it for about two, three weeks. And 
So I called I called her over when I got to the vet and told her. And they said, well, let me know. So I called and told her what they said. And, and they, I, w- I wish I, w- I, wish I would have kept the paper or asked for a copy because they, uh, they, there were some other levels they showed that was way off. And they said normal reading, I can't remember what the numbers were, but she says like a 1.6. And Zoe's was like 10 or 11, which the vet was really amazed that she was still functioning. So, obviously they said even, it's a very expensive procedure, even if we had a kidney, she's not a candidate, because there were some other issues that came back not very good. So, their recommendation was the obvious. So, I had to call my mom, let her know. At this point, you know, I was... I was upset, but I was doing all right, and then my mom started breaking down, then I really started breaking down, and got through all that, and they asked, that, you know, do you, do you want to be there, you know, do you want to, I said, yes, I, I want to spend some time with her, and I want to be there. So that, that's the reason why there's been no quick and dirty updates, and that's why uh, I haven't really done nothing except for work on that video I did like two, three months ago, maybe. And even then, <laughs> that the only the only editing that was done to that was literally just after like six minutes I cut it. Because the rest was just dead space. And it, was, and it was like over 14 minutes of riding. So. Not very much editing. But I'm slowly getting back to normal. And. I think here this afternoon after this goes up. After I get this converted and uploaded. I'm going to take the coil back out of the bike and take the battery back out because I've I've ran a trickle charger and I've charged it up to 13 volts and it's dropping it's dropping a hole I've charged it up to like 13 point one three someone said that's average for a lead acid battery and once I turned the charger off, it dropped back down to like 12 point, And when I put it to trickle charge to maintain, I think that's what I ended up reading. But when you go to crank it, the battery doesn't, it doesn't sustain at all. It, it loses a lot. So I, I really, I'm really going back to my original that the cranking amps ain't there and chances are the coil is bad because according to, I got this directly from the service manual. The primary coil is supposed to be anywhere from From like 1.8 to 2, 1.8 to 3 point something, and the, the primary coil checks 2.8, which is right within range. The secondary coil is supposed to be anywhere from 8.8 to 13.8, and when I check the secondary from the negative with the wire still attached. It's getting like 15 point, I can't remember what the point is, but it's it's about 2 ohms off of what's considered recommended range. But when I take the wire off, it'll give, it'll give me a 10.8, 10. which is a good reading. So that kind of tells me that 
there's too much resistance in the wire that's probably another reason why it's not getting much of a spark or any at all but anyway I'm just going to change the battery and the coil be done with it that way I know they're new and uh, once I get that changed and I know it's going to run I will start doing the other stuff to the bike I need to do like since it's going to be setting I'm going to go ahead which I need to drain the tank I need to put fresh in there keep that from going bad I need to keep I need to start cycling stuff through the tank and I'm probably going to pop the carburetor off and clean it and I'll do the valve check and all that other stuff and hopefully I have the gumption to do videos of that anyway guys I know this video is a lot longer than I intended to be and uh, I think I'm calling in anyway guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it uh, I have a couple other random videos that are going to be coming up. I'm going to finally do a, a review on this. Which. I hope I get that off the screen for. I'm going to do a review on this. This is my uh, Fitbit. I've had it for about three months. And I'm getting ready to get to. Uh, two years with my iPad I'm going to go over that and I'm coming up on two years on my phone so I got some videos I'm going to do I'm going to look at stuff I've had for a while and if that's stuff that you think you might like to watch let me know and uh, I'll uh, try to do stuff like that through the winter since I obviously can't ride and uh, we'll go from there thanks guys